Honorable Chief Minister, Dr. Manish Alamidigaru, the Board of Directors and the shareholders of Shri Shakti Resorts and Hotels Limited and also on behalf of the Executive Committee of Family World, members of Family World staff and management. It is a great pleasure and a privilege to welcome you all for this uh, inauguration of Family World. It is indeed wonderful to share this occasion with you all. A warm, a warm and a hearty welcome to all of you. Mr. Rajesh, Ms. Devi Ratnasri. Our Hyderabad project consists of an executive hotel in collaboration with Ramada International a modern shopping mall and family bird, a unique family recreation center. The executive hotel consists of 270 rooms at a cost of 27 crores, of which 190 rooms would be built in phase 1 by September 92 and another 80 rooms would be added by September 93. The hotel is designed by the renowned European architects Rodiger Pasquet and Jogan Pasquet, one of the best in the world. It is a classical structure adding more charm to this great city. The shopping mall is again designed by the same architects in postmodern architecture and it will be comparable to the best shopping malls anywhere in Then the family world, family world which our Honorable Chief Minister has just inaugurated. It is a dream come true. It is a family recreation center a place where all the members of the family can put their leisure time to a more creative usage. It is a place where children, youngsters, couples and senior citizens, all of them... We congratulate Mr. Manohar, Shakti Group Industries and this dreamland that you have created at the back of this pedal. We are the National Airport Authority who came in contact with Manohar when a proposal for such project was given to us. This piece of land next to your airport was lying vacant for a long time. And when this project was shown to us, it was unbelievable as to what the intention was. But subsequently, after few exchanges of discussions, we found out that this is something which is being created here would be a unique, not only in Hyderabad, but I think perhaps in the entire landmass of India. And for that, on my behalf and on behalf of my authority, I must congratulate these people who have made this possible. I am glad today to note that Honorable Chief Minister has personally come here to inaugurate this place. It also gives us the pleasure to see our Honorable Chief Minister at our Hyderabad airport place. I want to assure him that this airport, which is very old airport, is getting more and more importance because the traffic is increasing. We have a lot of plans to develop this airport, to make it into an airport which will be able to accept international traffic, not only for passengers, but also for the cargo. And towards that, we have already made our plans Architectural designs have been approved and the project will soon start taking its shape at this airport which is right behind you. Apart from that, we in the National Airport Authority are also developing two other very important airports in Andhra Pradesh. One is the famous temple place of Tirupati and other at Vijayawada. The work at Tirupati would almost, is, al is almost ready to start and at Vijayawada, we are making the plans with the help of our architectures. As we are already late, and I'm sure our Honorable Chief Minister here also has had a very hectic function before he has arrived here, I do not want to take too long 
to keep on telling you about what are the uh, activities that we are planning at Hyderabad. But I can assure you that this airfield, which is the state capital airfield, is going to be developed. And along with that project here, which is being developed on this piece of land, also will bring a lot of kudos to this city of Hyderabad and Andhra Pradesh. Thank you very much. I am extremely sorry for the delay in coming over here and detaining you for so long. I was in a meeting of the people from all over the state had come and I could not vanish to get over here earlier. As Air Marshal has pointed out, this is indeed a very brave and a bold experiment. And one of the innovations that we would like to, that we would welcome to take a definite and prominent shape. I am glad Mr. Manohar had been dreaming this kind of a thing for some time and he has now started giving a shape to it. What he said was that he had long plans for six big hotels in different parts. And this is the building. The first client had a tree which I actually went and saw. There's something unique and it gives a refreshing impression for people to come over there and relax in the real sense. Of course, the other activities I did not really go through, go through them as I was already so late. Besides, unfortunately, I have also related to some other commitment. So I would, I would not like to talk to you. But one thing about this, any effort made in the tourism, in the direction of tourism, any effort made in the direction of developing its refreshing ideas of restaurants and places like this would be a very good addition to our civic life, to our life in the Hyderabad city. Hyderabad city, as it happens, to be a central place, a meeting place between north and south, a cosmopolitan type of culture, where people from all over India can find it homely to be here. We have many people, many officers working in different areas that go their life. My family come down to settle in Hyderabad. That only shows that this is a place which is vast potentialities of development. Our potentialities of development would be in the direction of a not a narrow minded way of looking at things, but a broadly trying to assimilate all cultures, if possible, all languages, and in that way present a mini India, an integrated India in this sense. Even before the integrated state of Andhra Pradesh was formed, the whole Hyderabad was a remarkable one with its multi-linguistic culture and a very cosmopolitan type of culture. So he would like to maintain this kind of a thing at all costs. Today we have several very difficult problems confronting us in this country. Perhaps economically and financially we are much more, much more in difficulties than we were ever before. We have the problem of oil shortage for various reasons on which we have no control. The position in the Middle East is making it worse. And we have the nation as a whole is put up to a test where again we can stand in a brave manner, endure all the difficulties and still continue working in our own fields. The state government has decided to make a big by cutting by 20% on oil consumption among the government offices. We thought that would be a good way 
that's one of the both for you and the public in general, the organizations, business uh, organizations, and see how they will all fall in line and cooperate with this election. The government of India is trying its best to face the situation, and I think it is for us, the states and the people in general, to stand by them and cooperate in this hour of crisis. Air Marshal has given us how they have a proposal to develop this airport, which ultimately will be of the standards of an international airport. Already we have started with flights, but naturally, depending on the traffic, the requirements, not only on passenger traffic, but both with the cargo, etc., this has become, this has and this is bound to become a bigger airport. I welcome all his suggestions and I'm not the state government. I want to assure him and his national, national authority to do, to do all the necessary cooperation for this process. I, I would heartily congratulate Mr. Manoa on this idea, which is now taking shape in the formal way. I have the privilege and pleasure of them declaring, of declaring it as open. I have myself gone through it and I have seen how people would like this idea. More and more things perhaps will be innovated in due course as this future takes deeper roots and more faith than all other facilities including the completion of the hotel and our provision of adequate finances from different organizations. So I once again thank you, thank, thank Mr. Manohar for having given me uh, this opportunity of associating with this new experiment. And once again, we wish all success. Yeah, thank you. The next item on the program is presentation of mementos to Dr. Chenaradi by Air Marshal C.K. Sraza. <laughs> Now we first our honorable chief minister to present the memento to Air Marshal Vajan. I request Ms. Sachya Pindyala to uh, present the memento to Mrs. Rajan. Our Honorable Chief Minister to present the memento to Mrs. Sobha Raju. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I request all of you to give a big hand to Mrs. Sobha Raju who enthralled us with her songs in the last two and a half or two or three minutes. Mr. M. R. Subramaniam, Chief General Manager, AP Telecommunications, to come under the diocese. Okay. I request Sri D. R. Kartikeyan, IPS, Inspector General of Police, CRPF, Southern Region, to come under the diocese. I 
Chris, Sri Badrul Krishnamurti, Vice Chancellor, Central University, to come out of the dais, please. Srimati Srimati Council to come out to the dais please. A.K. Mishra, Director, Hyderabad Airport, to come on to the dais, please. Other members of our executive committee include Sri Muhammad Azharuddin, Captain of the Indian Cricket Team, Sri J. Ramakrishna, IRS, Collector of Central Excess and Customs, Sri N.N. Majumdar, Chief General Manager, State Bank of India, Dr. Ramesh Babu, Executive Director, Medwin Hospitals, and Srimati Jamuna, Member of Parliament. Now I request Sri P. Venkateshwar Raju, Painting Instructor and the Family World. I request Mr. Uttam of Deccan Granites to propose a vote of thanks. Honorable Chief Minister, a uh, great privilege for me here to propose a vote of thanks on behalf of the staff and management of Family World. Our special thanks to the Chief Minister for having spared his valuable time to come here and inaugurate the Family World. Our many thanks to Air Marshal Rajiv for having presided this momentous occasion. And once again, I'd like to thank everyone here for having come and uh, in spite of the delay, having waited patiently for the inauguration. Thank you very much. Thank you. 